Hey everybody, how are you? I'm just using my remote control. Yesterday when I um, I was telling you about my tripod and let me see if I can fix this, okay. Yesterday I was telling you about my tripod and that it had the um, uh, remote control for iOS, which is Apple or Android. And um, it's really cool. Um, I forgot all about when I went to shut it off last night. You see me say goodnight to you and stretch my arm out like because I'm hitting the off button. But I don't have to do that because I can actually turn it on and off from here. I live and learn, folks. We live and learn. Um, <laughs> not too much of a bad day today. I also purchased from, from Amazon um, my tempered glass because I always protect the front of my phone, which is the tempered glass. It's called Elon. Elon. And this this company is very good. We've got these from Amazon. You get a set of three in here. I think it was like $9.99 for three protectors. So they're very good. The tempered glass. I have one on now, but it seems to be like it looks like it's cracking. And I hope it's not the glass itself underneath the protector. So we'll find out soon enough. And I also have one for my... Um, I purchased this a while ago. The same company for my... Um, iPod, which also, maybe I could just show you on this one. It's, it's like a fine line. It's like really, it's very annoying. Sorry about that. It's just cracking. I hope everybody had a good day. Happy, happy Thursday. Yeah, it's like cracking at the end somewhat. You could see it, maybe. <laughs> but anyhow, this is my rose colored. It's an actual gold iPod, but I put the rose colored gold on it, so... It was matching my other phone case at one time. So anyway, that'll be my project for tonight. I'll just give myself some new protectors. Um, in my newspaper, again, and one of the things are that other news stations and other forms of um, podcasts and vloggers, things seem to be coming out now a little bit more about the situation. And I'm here to discuss it because I feel that I can. Um, it is my sole right. Um, I am very intrigued and interested to find out what is exactly going on down there. And there is just a, a can of worms that are being opened that is whoops. A can of whoops, you know. And um, I just wanted to say something with this. It says here, Des Pals, which is DeSantis. This is actually, again, my newspaper here in new york is giving the news from florida because it's very interesting now last night was the candidatial the candidatial <laughs> the, can the debate last night and desantis was one of the people and it was kind of like a free-for-all i watched some of it <clears throat> now usually these really intrigue me um Ex-president, former President Trump was not there because, you know, he was indicted again. I, I think he should just go on tour with this and he should just call it the indictment tour because he's going to be indicted in almost like every state now. It's It seems to be an ongoing thing with him. OK, that's the way I figure it. Like uh, the, the indictment tour, <laughs> indictment on tour. It's like so weird. Well, anyway. Last night, uh, Trump wasn't there, but DeSantis was and, and uh, you know, other candidates on the panel. And they were just, you know, a debate used to be a debate. A debate used to be telling the people of America that are watching you what you are going to do for the states. What are you going to do for the United States if and when you become president? Okay. Um, this didn't really happen. I didn't really see it that way last night. It was like, a, you did this, and then, yeah, well, you did that. It looked like a high school debate is what it looked like. Vote for me for class president. This is what I, I got, you know, this is what I kind of figured out. I'm looking at it. I'm going, you know, as much as I really want to sit here with this, it's like they're bickering back and forth. You know, it was cute and fun and all, but then it started to get, like, really annoying. I went, up. Oh, here we go. Turn it off. I can't. I can't deal with it. So <laughs> it was one of those nights last night. Can't do it. So anyway, it says Des Pals, which is DeSantis Pals, I probe of Disney. Now, I just want you to know something. And yeah, I am going to speak about this. The reason why I speak about it, again, I'm very interested in this, you know, and you should, you guys should be interested in it as well, because, you know, if you're paying money, 
to go down to the parks. We were paying money. You know, you, you know, we now just found out, it's coming out little by little, of finding out who exactly is making the money, okay? And what the state of Florida, their taxpayers, the taxpayers, your tax-paying people of the state of Florida, your money is going to the higher-ups within the Reedy Creek um, district, I mean, we're talking from, from years ago. This is not just happening. I mean, I'm even saying this is like, how many years has DeSantis been in office? Because this crap, and you can't really blame DeSantis. This is what I'm trying to get at. And I don't have a soft spot for him. I'm just saying I'm going to call it as I see it. He really is not the issue for this, okay? He's opening up the worms. He's going to open the can up and then just walk away and then let the can diffuse itself, you know, like create something on its own. Um, the board appointed by Florida Governor DeSantis, which the board was discovered, but but the board was appointed from DeSantis because he changed the name, you know, Reedy Creek, and then this board took them over. Okay. Um, the thing is, is that that new board now has found a whole bunch of, let's just say, a whole bunch of goodies. A whole bunch of skeletons in the closet. The people of Florida, your tax money is going toward the higher ups to pay to be comped going to, you know, on trips to the Disney, getting free tickets, getting free pass holder tickets, getting free park passes, getting free transportation. The Reedy Creek has been in on this. Okay. That cannot be mine. I hear that whistle. That was his upstairs. He just turned it off. I got this on. Oh, good. I got this on film. Now I have proof. Anyway. <laughs> anyway. Um, the Reedy Creek District um, has been, their little cans have been popping open. And what the new organization here, the new district is doing is, gee whiz, there is a whole lot of money being lost. Disney is not doing so well. The parks are not, where, where is the money really going? And now i be honest with you, this is just the start of it. I think we're really gonna find this out. This is going to be really exciting for me anyway. Yes. And I can't help it, but to be excited because, you know, as a park goer, as a fan, as this and that, you, you would you'd be smart enough to, you want to know the answer as to where your money just went. Okay. I know you gave it to them. You had your trip already. Let's just say you gave them the money. You had your trip. Okay. You had somewhat of whatever of a good time that you think that you had. Me, I'm always out looking for the exact same thing that I wanted every year that I always got. And it's, you know, becoming very scarce. So I want to know, why is it my money? I'm paying more money, but yet I'm getting the lesser experience. Now, what exactly is my money? Where is it exactly going? And what is it exactly doing? So I think we're going to find out. I know I'm going to find out because I'm going to stay glued to this. And this is the things that interest me. Now, <clears throat> I was on WDWNT today <clears throat> um, on Facebook, okay? Because I am a member. I've been a member of them for quite a few years. And, you know, on Facebook, they give you badges. And on Facebook, they give you, like, top fan badge. It depends on how much that you interact with that page and that board. So then they, you know, it's like you're recognized. As you're recognized as a regular, you post things, you're interactive with, you know, the board and God forbid other people. Cause right now I can't get along with anybody anymore. And that actually happened today because I, you know, um, WDW posted, WDWNT rather, posted, it has been 52 weeks that the Disney stocks are at the lowest. 
<clears throat> and they are now the lowest. It was in five years. They are now the lowest in nine years. You ask yourself, like, really, why? Okay, everybody that's a stockholder in that company is paying themselves a salary. Where do you think they're getting the salary from? Me, you, the guy behind you, the guy across, the girl over there in the corner. You know, you have to understand you're paying money for this. You're handing them your money. You know, like the joke, oh, here, take my money. Well, <laughs> they certainly are. Um, so what I wanted to do, go back to this. I'm just going to read a little bit of this. The 1967 law that created the special tax district capped board members. Compensation at $100 per month, raising further questions about the lawfulness of the arrangement. Now, does this really go back to 1967 to Disney himself, Walt Disney himself? I really don't think so. I think as far as they can go back, as far as all the records, they're going to need to go back. I mean, they have, I'm sure they have a department of, of records. I'm sure they have because our state, each state has their own big building and it has every record known. So if you needed to go, the hall of records, okay? I'm sure the Florida state of Florida would have a hall of records, okay? This is what they need to do. Well, it is the general of some of Florida, and I can't remember the frickin' word. Um, the state general, the state general of Florida says, oh, wait a minute, we are finding these things, and wait a minute, there's a, you know what? Now that we have clout to go into more information, let's just dig a little deeper and find out exactly, okay? Because while Reedy Creek was having a set, let, let's just say, I didn't say it, don't hang on the number with me because it's not, I'm just giving you a number. Let's say it's like 10,000 property tax a year, $10,000 property tax, which is unheard of for that many acres of land down there. May have been in 1967, but sure as hell ain't now. So they have been keeping capped, the tax paying, the tax paying for the land, and you know, taxes, uh, property taxes, okay? You're paying the same amount, um, it seems that you're paying the exact same amount all these years. You've never been raised, you know, because they have their own government, okay? Which is what DeSantis says, you know what, they have their own, who the hell do they think they are? Um, Universal don't have theirs, SeaWorld don't have theirs, Lego don't have, no, no, none of the other theme parks get special treatment. Okay, fine. I think even though Walt Disney himself sat down at the board and made these arrangements. You know what? I think the time has come to make a big change. Disney World and their land need to catch up with today's amounts of money. I mean, there's a very good reason why, because everybody's been pocketing everything. Now, you got people there, senators, I mean, big wigs, could even be movie stars as well. Who knows? I mean, remember, that's why they, they seem to cater to very, very important people. They will shut the whole park down and forget everybody else who already paid. Um, so the thing is, where is the money going? Where has it gone? So they will... What the um, state general wants to do is to do a whole invest investigation. And it is going to turn into possibly a criminal investigation. People can actually go to jail for this crap. What they are doing, and if the state general gets what he wants as far as an investigation is concerned, depending on whatever he finds, Disney can actually be lost. Disney could go down. I mean, down the tubes. <clears throat> down the tubes. Never say never. Never say that's not possible. That can't happen. There is an underlining little problem here. Now, even DeSantis, that's why he backed off of that lawsuit. He, that, I'm, I mentioned it to you the other day. I, I had a feeling that this is why he backed off of the lawsuit. Remember, you give somebody enough room, 
they'll take off on their own and the trouble they will invite themselves to their own trouble party which is what disney did now disney has paperwork and everything oh here here's what we have yes we're we're being you know here we are it's all here we're being honest but here's the thing that's why the state general wants to get involved and says hey wait a minute you may have this on paper you got the letter you know the disney letterhead and you know that's all cute and all but there is an underlining thing that i really want to crack open more of the books okay as i see this eventually down the road somehow disney will have to catch up with the bills for the state of florida everybody else is paying their property taxes all the other theme parks nobody ever seems to have a problem but disney doesn't this doesn't this intrigue you at all because it, it'll actually wind up in the end probably affecting us anyway even more I mean, not to, not to say it's not affecting us now. And you could see that. Just think of all the prices that you're paying. And it is just unbelievable. Unbelievable. So with all that being said, again, in my hometown newspaper, here we go. I mean, I cracked it open. It's a little thing. And I read it and I went, wow. Okay. Here. The Central Florida Tourism Oversight District, what a tongue twister that is, told the Inspector General of, of FICE Monday that the board that used the Oversee, the Orlando Theme Park District, paid Disney more than $2 million last financial fiscal year for its members and employees to have seasonal passes as well as discounts on hotel stays and merchandise and food. So the taxpayers, I include everybody in this. I, I, you know what? I'm going down the line. Taxpayers, let's start with the state of Florida. Taxpayers are doing that. Okay. So they're dipping into that. All us park goers, all the patrons, all the guests, um, I'm sure that they're dipping into people that pay off for their Disney vacation clubs. Um, the companies that Disney has been having in, and this is another situation. Now, we know about the MLM companies, okay? We do know about this. They have to go through, and I'm going to let you in on this. They, they have to go through a certain type of an interview process for Disney. Disney does, just doesn't take everybody. Disney wants to know your background on things before they even consider you for connecting to the Disney company and selling merchandise. I don't know if you guys knew that. Well, I just found that out and I was like, okay, I was floored. Okay. Um, it has been coming out. People have been speaking up. And the two stations that I really am connected to, and I only listen to two of these because they are both inter, inter um, let me see, um, interactive with each other. They're both, they're both interactive. They're both interchangeable, should I say, which is WDW Pro. And the other station is Valiant Renegade. And I have been listening to the two of them and they're both mostly on each other's shows. So they're giving almost, I mean, they're giving the same news and they also do this discussion and it's kind of like a Zoom meeting discussion, you know, very, very helpful, very informative. And, you know, I just, like I said, it is interesting for me to know where is the money? That's a lot of money. Okay. Now, I also understand that they filed more permits. I think there's two more permits for something for Epcot. You're filing all these perm permits. Okay, the Moana uh, water thing, the ex exhibit, they had the soft opening for this, and I saw something of it. I mean, if you want to go there and play with water, more power to you. It seems to be an interactive exhibit, um, touching the water, and you find out about the land, and you find out about nature. It's more nature-based, and that's all cute. Um, 
that was a hell of a lot of money to do also. So the, that would be, that's a soft opening right now. It's not open to the public yet. I don't think they have an actual date yet as far as when that's going to open here. But you're filing permits. You have properties that are, you are ripping apart. You have the golf course now with that situation. You have that, I told you the other day, the roadway closed between shades of green resort and go into the polynesian so these people can walk to the polynesian and then get get on the monorail to go to the magic kingdom well that i told you that roadway is now the walkway is closed then the golf course has been ripped apart and bulldozed what the hell is going on why do they start projects and they start so many of them and you are literally going down there and enjoying yourselves around the construction sites and I know I have said this before, but it just it just boggles my mind. Why would you just put up with this? Why? Um, what else? Just things that are that are happening. Okay, so let me go back to the Facebook situation. They mentioned uh, the WDWNT. That's the board I follow. That's the board that's on here. They have their own Instagram page, Twitter page, Facebook page, and YouTube channel. That's what I watch. They are also for the fun aspect. And that's what I watch. I really, I really absolutely respect them. And Tom that runs is a, is a great person. It's, he really is. I, I, he's very informative. He really he gives, he gives very honest reviews. And, you know, if he doesn't like something, he will say that. So it was really cool. Um, they posted about the stocks. Okay. That's where I left off with the stocks. And I put my, now when I comment, I comment on their post. Okay. There is only a matter of time that if I post on their post, I make a comment. I leave it at that. If somebody, somebody tends to, or people tend to comment on your comment. So now they're commenting on your comment. I don't do this to too many people. I don't do that. I make my comment and then I leave it. But I don't really invite myself to somebody else's comments. Now, everybody seemed to want to jump on mine because that's how I said it. And I must have hit millions of nerves. <laughs> I mean, the nerves were just tingling today. But when I say something, that is solely my opinion. That's not, that's technically whatever I'm saying, even though if you don't like it, scroll by, it's none of your business. Just, I wasn't talking to you. I don't know you, I'm not talking to you. I'm voicing my own opinion. So they mentioned the stocks. I turned around and says, good. I says, that's great news. And I knew that was going to trigger, I'm gonna use that word trigger, which I don't really, I don't like that word either, but it's triggering numerous people and the person came on this is oh come on have some enthusiasm or have some have some you know optimism i says i can't anymore i says i'm over it so that kind of went back and forth now you came on my comment and it seems like it was only on my comment that these people annoy so they're starting, I says, listen, okay, this is solely my opinion and I have the right to it, okay? So if you don't like it now, you need to keep scrolling, just go away. So WDWNT, the moderator, whoever was wa watching that page, whoever's watching that, that comment disappeared from off my page. So now we got rid of one. Then another one comes on. I'm saying, why am I being targeted? That's the other word I don't use. I, I don't really. Why am I being targeted? All I said was, that's great news. That's all I said. That's it. I never went into a spiel. I never went into. I said, that's great news. But everybody felt the need to step on. So somebody else said, so I says, oh, here we go with another one. I says, listen, you need to back off. I says, that's enough's enough now. I says, I'm not bothering anybody. That's my opinion. I'm not going to say it again. You need to back off, please. And I use that, that comment went away. So now here comes another one. I was like, what the hell is going on here? What is going on? So because of the fact on Facebook that you earn a top badge, I am a top fan badge. 
I'm a top fan on that WDWNT Facebook. Okay. I'm trying to be very calm. I only posted the one comment and it seemed to have taken off. But yet other people are posting on their comments and nobody's even bothering them. Come on. Come on. Knock it off. Go bother them. So somebody else wrote. Now on my Facebook page, I told you, I keep my pages separate from different life that I have. Okay. My Facebook page is my personal page. It's for friends and family from years ago, neighborhood people that I used to live with. That's basically. And a, a few Disney people that I've known for years anyway. So now here comes the third one coming out of the gate. Came out of the batter's box. Um, he also battered a strike. Uh, <laughs> three strikes. Um, he says, oh, he says, let me ask you something. It says here you're a top fan. That seemed to have bothered a lot of people. It's not my problem. I didn't pick that. That's because I interact. That's because I show my interest with the with the Facebook page. Ah. What do you want me to do? That's, but you seem to be pissed off with it, though. It seems to bother you. So it says, let me ask you something. He says, well, you're a top fan, he says, of this page, and you're, and you're involved in this page. What is it with your profile photo on your Facebook page? Now, now you're getting personal because what my profile photo is in my Facebook page is the um, Disney Plus symbol with the red X because I unsubscribe and I am against what Disney Plus is doing. So now I'm saying to myself, oh, so now I'm being either I'm being questioned or interrogated. I says I answered very nice. I says it's because I let go of my Disney Plus subscription. Then I found the article of why, you know, the, the prices are being raised on Disney Plus. So I tagged him to that article to explain. That's where I left it. That's it. That's it. So now I heard crickets on that. So now I guess I shut that person up because I proved, you know, I, I guarantee these people are so stupid that they don't even know what's going on even with Disney Plus even if they had Disney Plus surprise because you're gonna get a raise and you're gonna get a hefty raise believe me so I'm just gonna be sitting here laughing my ass off but it's just it's my opinion I wasn't bothering anybody I never bother anybody like that I don't do that but you know when they feel the need to come on my con comment and start pounding I'm gonna come back at you because that's now my comment that you're antagonizing Grow up. Just grow up. You people know nothing. <laughs> I said to myself, you people know nothing. So we left it at that. And I, I was very kind and cordial. I tried to kill it with kindness, you know? And that's what I did. And then I got called, well, the first person was very mean, called me pathetic and, and you're a troll. Why am I a troll? I'm not a troll. And that's why that board, Facebook, wipe them off that wasn't fair what you said either so I don't even know these people I mean see what it is is that we live in a society in a world today that people can antagonize other people and it seems like if they do that they'll get their wish and make that person go away because that's what they're trying to do they're bullying they're bullying you I don't get bullied very easy I don't do that so when you have control over yourself and you know how to handle yourself, in my world, I, I, I say we can beat anything. That's the kind of person that I am. So I think I, I handled it very well. And my, they didn't take down my comment. They did it. They could have taken the whole thing down. They didn't take it down. They were taking down everybody that bothered me. I said, listen, you need to back off, please. And I said that. I think I have a screenshot of that also. Because what I usually do is I screenshot the person that's usually bothering me and I send it into the page. And I says, you know, can you explain this or what is going on? I says, this is what I said. And I sent the whole conversation. That's usually what I do. I always prove myself. I always prove myself. So that person anyway disappeared. They, they, they managed to get them. So I thought it was really weird. You know? And then again, it's probably a freaking i don't know 16 year old person who knows i mean adults nowadays are bullying other adults it is ridiculous 
So that was it on that one. Um, let's see. I talked about that. I talked about the article. I'm loving my tripod. I do. And like I said, I like the remote control of it. It's easier to... I don't want to press the button now because then I'll cut it off. But I will press the button to end the video. Um, thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. Um, I went to today, I went to Primark. They do have a new array of Stitch collection. They have jackets. They had a jacket in an extra large. I didn't try it on though. I, I, maybe I should. I don't need any more jackets. It's not for me. But the jacket was seemed to be well made. They have new clothing. It's more like a stitch line. So we're doing that, but it's different bags. You have the, um, it's kind of like a tote bag slash backpack. So you get the tote, you know, the backpack with the straps on the back and then you're getting a, a handle on top. So it's kind of, to me, it's like a tote bag. And then with that, you're getting, uh, you can also purchase the smaller phone case crossbody size. So that's, one's was 12, one was $12, that's the crossbody. And I think the other one was like $22 for the um, bigger stitch bag. And they have new kind of stitch ears. They don't have the sequin ones that I have anymore. Now they have a different one and just things like that. So, but they do have new stuff on display. They have shoes, they have stitch shoes, they have stitch sneakers, the high top sneakers with a fur lining. I was like, oh, but it's too, it's still hot out. <laughs> but I don't wear those color sneakers in the winter anyway. But again, I thought that was pretty cool. So they are changing some new, they are getting in some new items. So that was good to see. And um, I think I'm gonna go back tomorrow, I may. I had lunch today, I had uh, Popeye's chicken. And let me just show you, because um, I have Popeye's, um, I just got in my new set of coupons for Popeye's chicken. And this is what I, these are what I usually get. These are the coupons that I get from Popeye's chicken. And then you turn it around, you get more. Um, this was the meal that I had today. I'll just show you this. It was... $6.99. You're getting two pieces of chicken. You can get a side. It doesn't have to be mashed potatoes. You can either get the mashed potatoes or you can get um, uh, macaroni and cheese. I'm not really crazy about the macaroni and cheese. I, I tried it. It's just, it's too pasty. It's very pasty. So you can either get that, two pieces of chicken, you get a side, you get a biscuit and the drink, all for $6.99. So with tax, I think I paid like $7.11. So it's not bad. So these are the coupons that I get in my weekly circular newspaper. And then I get my stop and shop paper. So I'm going to be going through that to stop and shop and just go through my sales and whatever else. And then I, um, I, uh, they have the app, you know, I have the stop and shop app and I accumulate points and then you can take those points and put them toward your groceries. So last week I saved like $3. We saved close to like $21 in, in groceries last week. So that was good. Um, I think this week for me is only going to be a dollar. I have no idea. I don't know how they figure that out. But you know what? It's something. I wouldn't care if it was five cents. I'm still saving something. And um, this I want to try. Ooh, This is a strawberry biscuit or Oreo cheesecake. Oh, my God. I have to try the Oreo cheesecake. I forgot about it. I saw the picture of it on the counter. Maybe I'll try it tomorrow. <laughs> Oreo cheesecake. Ooh, my, my stomach is going to love that. My tummy's been on the fritz lately. I don't know what it is. Um, the Dole Whips, I actually finished the strawberry and the mango. I finished the both boxes. It's, it's. I mean, you're only getting four cups in a box, so I could just wipe those out in one sitting, literally. You know, I think they should just make them bigger. But thank you so much for liking the reviews yesterday. And, and uh, I, I like to do those kind of reviews, and I, I I think I nailed it, you know. So I'm just giving you my honest honest opinions. Alrighty. So I'm gonna make myself I think a tuna sandwich with lettuce and tomato on rye. Or oh wait, I have um, hard boiled eggs. But then again, there goes my stomach. I love I love eggs. I, I usually make myself egg salad. Maybe I can make egg salad with put lettuce and tomato on. Oh my god! Oh, the possibilities are endless. Husband is inside. He's just relaxing. So, all right, then. I will talk to you soon. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. Have a wonderful night. I'm going to use my button. Take care, everybody. Love to all.
Bye-bye.